Hello traders, FS Percolati here. Today is Friday, June 7th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Euro US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Euro dollar, I'm definitely still looking at this as either a running flat wave C, which would probably end up looking something like that, going out to the 100 or the 123 Fibonacci extension, or possibly this is going to end up being a, an expanding wave C, which would probably bring us up to the 178, 161.8 Fibonacci extension. Either scenario, I think it doesn't matter to know as of yet because either way, it should lead to a pretty big uptrend. Going down to the weekly time frame, I definitely am still looking at this at the end of a wave two. These five waves up right here, I think is a wave one of three. I think this is a WXY, which I think is a two of three. I still think we are in that wave three of three and I still think on the weekly and daily time frame, it will continue to make higher highs, higher lows, whether it's a wave three of an expanding or a running flat is yet to be determined. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, this is where I believe that we have the end of a wave two. I believe that we're already in a wave three, and I think this is all just subdivisions of the wave three. I still think there's a pretty good chance that this is just gonna keep on making those higher highs, higher lows, unlike that I said the daily and weekly time frame, telling me that I am definitely still looking for longs in an uptrend. Going down to the four hour time frame. Now this has definitely been a little bit of an odd pattern. It kind of looks like it already made one, two, three waves down. And if it did already make one, two, three waves down, then it's just going to keep on going up, making higher highs, higher lows. Now, if this is actually supposed to be some sort of a wave A and this is supposed to be a wave B, then this actually may, you know, bounce off like the 78 or the 61% and make a move down for a wave C. So we're going to have to see what happens. It is a pretty big news day today, as you know. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, we do have non-farm payroll news coming out today. Definitely a very big news event for the dollar. Like I was just explaining, it looks like it already has three waves down. It looks like it's already made a one, two, three pattern or an ABC. If it is already an ABC, then this potentially at the news is just going to keep on trending up. Now the question is, is whether this is an ABC of A and this is actually supposed to be a wave B. If that's the case, then this thing actually, you know, bounces from one of these Fibonacci levels at today's non-farm payroll makes a nice big impulsive move down then I would say that is definitely the end of a way be it you should go short for the continuation of the downtrend so it's gonna be a little tricky today to try to determine whether this is actually a way B or whether it's just gonna keep on trending up all the higher time frames the daily weekly and monthly are definitely in an uptrend and I always lean towards trading with the trend so I'm definitely leaning towards this not being a way B and this continuing the uptrend making higher highs higher lows but I always look at both sides of the coin which is why I say if it does go down, if it does break starts, if it does bounce from a Fibonacci level, then you definitely should think about going short for the continuation of probably a wave C to the downside. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you're interested in joining my daily live trading sessions and participating in my swing trade setups. As always, thank you and happy trading.